Hey everybody, Bob Wong, licensed acupuncturist, and today in this video, we're going to go over a few acupressure points for labor induction. Labor induction is something that we see very common in the acupuncture clinic. I actually used acupressure for uh, both my my children when my wife was uh, 38 weeks pregnant as well. So um, it, it was really funny because my wife was actually supposed to get induced, and it was our first time. You know, it was her first time having a baby, so she was freaking out. She's like, "Oh my God, what do we do?" So uh, I just did what I knew. So we did some a few acupressure points, and uh, about pretty much it was is pretty wild. It was about five minutes later, she actually went uh, her water broke, and we were at the hospital right away. And six hours later, we had our our son. So here are some points that uh, I usually give to patients as homework after acupuncture treatment. So these points are meant to help uh, bring on labor and even they can even help with uh, labor pain as well. So before I go on, these points are contraindicated for anyone pregnant under 38 weeks. And if you're unsure and you don't know uh, if this is right for you, just always, always, always check in with your obstetrician or your GP uh, or your midwife before trying any of these points. So the very first point that uh, I'm going to go over is a point called large intestine four. So it's a very common point for headaches, but also to help bring labor on as well. So uh, this is a very common point. It's pretty much, between your index finger and your thumb, all you have to do is make a small fist and it's just at the apex of it, uh, right at that height of that mound. And all you need to do is just uh, press on that point till you feel a, a slight sore or achy sensation. So you press that for about 15 to 30 seconds, uh, for about two minutes. So again, this point is in between your index finger and your thumb. If you make a sl small fist, it's just right where that mound, it, mound comes up. Uh, just press that 15 to 30 seconds. Don't worry if you miss the point or you feel like you can't find it. Acupressure points are a lot bigger than most people think. It's not a very small, thin uh, point. It's actually the size of a gumball. So it's pretty hard to miss. As long as you feel a sore, achy sensation, that means you've got the right spot. The second point we're going to talk about is this point called GB21. So what that point is, it's right in between where your spine is and at the end of your shoulder and it's right in the right where that height where that trapezius muscle is so if you're by yourself you can just pretty much make a close fist use this knuckle right here and just kind of rub that a bit and you should feel a, a sore sensation if you have a partner with you that's willing to do that even better um, you can just again use that knuckle uh, on your thumb bit and just rub in that area so this area is again is the size of a gumball so as long as you're feeling a sore uh, an achy sensation, that means you hit the spot. So this point is supposed to help baby descend a bit more. So again, it's right in the middle at the where your end of your shoulder is and where your spine is, and you just draw a line straight through and it's right in the middle right there. Use your knuckle and just press right there. And the last point we're going to talk about today is actually called spleen six. So that is on your inner ankle, on the inside of your ankle, and all you need to do is, if you just took, took four fingers and you just wrap that where your inner ankle begins and just put that over the ankle, it's right really close to your shin bone. And again, this point is the size of a gumball pretty much. So you wanna be as close to the bone as possible and you should feel an achy sore sensation. If you press that for about 15 to 30 seconds, you should feel this achy sensation. So this point uh, is, that according to literature actually helps the cervix dilate and helps the body get ready for labor as well. So again, if you're unsure about any of these points, you can please leave a comment below. I'll try to answer all the questions or even go visit your local acupuncturist. Okay, good luck. Please let me know in the comment section if you've tried it, if it worked, and thanks for watching.